everyone. Uh, for the region bounded by the graphs of the equations y equals sine of x and y equals two, sine of 2x, we're going to find the volume of the solid generated by revolving the region about the x-axis. We're also restricted for x this has to be in between 0 and pi divided by 2. Uh, since we're revolving about the x-axis, we're going to use this formula uh, given here. So we need to find our uh, upper and lower limits. Uh, if I do a little sketch here, uh, we're going to start where x is 0. And I'll do a little graph here. And um, then we'll go to pi divided by 2. I'm going to go ahead and uh, write pi here. So for uh, y equals sine of x at uh, pi divided by 2, that's at 1. So that's the green one. So it would go up to there and then uh, stop about there. So that one is y equals sine of x. And then recall for uh, sine of 2x, that means you're going to have two waves between uh, 0 and 2 pi. Um, so for this one, we have um, pi divided by 4. And if you uh, substitute that, you get uh, a 1 right here. So, and then at sine of pi, it'll be 0. So basically, this one will start at 0 and go something like this. All right. So what we have to do is look for this shaded region here. And uh, we need to know what this intersection point is. It isn't pi divided by 4 because that's that one. So we're going to set these two equal to each other to find the um, intersection points. So we have sine of x equals, and for this one I'm going to use my double angle identity, 2 sine of x cosine of x. And um, if I factor this, uh, I'll subtract uh, sine of x. So you get 2 sine of x cosine of x minus sine of x equals 0. And we'll factor out a sine of x. That's going to give me sine of x. And then I'll have 2 cosine of x minus 1 equals 0. All right. Now for this one, if you set this to 0, sine of x equals 0 or cosine of x equals 1 half. And that's going to occur when our x is pi divided by 3. So, that we, so what we're really doing is going from, our interval is going to be from 0 to pi divided by 3. And um, we're going to have to subtract these two. Um, our upper uh, bound for the shaded region is y equals uh, sine of 2x and the shaded region that's bounded uh, from the bottom is the sine of x. So we're going to take our sine of 2x subtract sine of x. And I'm saying all this because we're going to do that next. So let's do that. So we're going to have our volume equals pi and then use your uh, formula um, 0 to uh, pi divided by 3, and then we're going to take our sine of 2x, remember that was the upper bound, and then square it, because that's the formula, so square it, minus, um, this was our lower bound, so that's going to be sine uh, squared of x, and this whole thing is dx. All right, now since these are both squares and we have to integrate, for integration we always want to use uh, uh, this trig identity given here. So let's rewrite this using the trig identities. This is going to equal pi times the integral of 0 to pi divided by 3. And for this one, we're going to get 1 minus cosine of 4x divided by 2 
because we have this 2, so we're going to have to multiply that 2 by 2. And this one's just going to be uh, minus 1 minus cosine of 2x divided by 2 dx. All right. And um, next step is just go ahead and uh, let's factor out this 1 half. So this is going to be basically, um, this is minus. So you're going to get pi divided by 2 times the integral of 0 to pi divided by 3. Now the 1's are going to cancel. So we're just going to get negative cosine of 4x. And then we have two negatives here. So plus cosine of 2x dx. All right. Now we can integrate this. And um, this is going to give us um, pi divided by 2. And then we have negative 1 fourth sine of 4x plus 1 half sine of 2x and we're evaluating this from 0 to pi divided by 3. Alright, just notice this 0 here. We, we always start with the upper uh, limit here. If you substitute in 0 here, you're going to get 0. So we only have to deal with this upper limit. So let's do that. We're going to have pi divided by 2, and then we're going to have negative 1 fourth uh, sine of 4 pi divided by 3 plus 1 half sine of 2 pi divided by 3. So there's that. All right, so we're going to finish this up. Uh, pi divided by 2, this is going to be negative 1 fourth times negative square root of 3 divided by 2 plus 1 half times square root of 3 divided by 2. All right, um, this is going to give us pi divided by 4 div divided by 2. Um, this one's going to be... Um, square root of 3 divided by 8 and then this one's going to be square root of 3 divided by 4. If we get our common denominator um, I can make this a 8 as long as I put a 2 here, right? So when you add this you're going to get pi uh, divided by 2 times uh, 3 square root of 3 divided by 8 uh, this is going to end up being 3 square root of 3 divided by 16 times pi. And that is your final answer. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. <music>